Welcome back. It's time to get some of your legal questions answered. And here with us is Mike Marion from Marion Minton Law Firm to uh, answer legal questions. He joins us here every Wednesday. Let's go ahead and get to our first question. The police interviewed my son at school without my permission. Can they do that? Well, the police can, uh, as long as they're investigating a case, they can talk to a child. The issue would be is if they took the child into custody, then the law says they have to notify the parent or guardian without unnecessary delay. But if your child's the suspect, I would certainly contact an attorney and get them some legal representation, but they may just be a witness to some case. Okay. Our next question, at what age can a child decide which parent they live with? Well, I think this is kind of a, a misconception. Kids don't get to decide. The court gets to decide uh, which parent a child uh, resides with. Now, when a child turns 12, they have the right to convey who they'd like to live with to the court, but it's the court's job to decide who they live with. They take the child's wants and wishes in, into consideration, but uh, they look at the best interest of the child, and kids don't always know what's in their best interest. What sorts of factors go into deciding that? Well, they're obviously looking at um, being able to provide, which parent can is, looks like they can provide uh, what the child needs as far as the necessities of life, um, what the other circumstances and stuff surrounding the home lives are. And um, the courts just look at, you know, they're trying to figure out the best interest and they listen to the child, especially once they turn 12. And if the child says, you know, I really want to live with mom because, you know, I like mom or I'm a girl and I feel like I'd be better off with mom, then the courts tend to listen to that. Okay, and our third question I got arrested 20 years ago for DWI. Can I get it off my record? Well, sounds like what they're talking about it being expunction. And expunctions only apply if there's no conviction. Um, so if uh, you were convicted 20 years ago, then generally no, you're not going to be able to get it off your record. Expunctions are for if you received a, an acquittal or a pardon, something like that, where the case went away, the case was dismissed, uh, no bill by the grand jury, or maybe if you're in a victim of identity theft, then you could uh, petition the court for an expunction. I would certainly get with an attorney, discuss the particulars of your case and your situation to see if you would qualify. Okay, so basically that would stay on unless those... Um those circumstances occurred that you mentioned. Right. The, the conviction, it's your conviction. You get to keep it. And um, just remember, though, the state will use it against you later if you ever get in additional trouble and try to enhance punishments for future crimes. All right. Thanks so much, Mike. Mike joins us um, every Wednesday to get your legal questions answered. You can get your, submit your questions to us, rather, by going on to fox4belmont.com and clicking on Ask the Attorney, and we'll try to get those answered for you on the air.